Automotive and dog years are pretty much the same, and since worldwide production of the 10th generation Toyota Corolla began in 2006, uh, it's lost its competitive edge lately. Not its reputation, though. Loyal buyers keep snapping them up. I'm Tom Volk with Driven for the New York Times. The new 11th generation model gets updated technology and design. Toyota claims that Corolla is the most popular nameplate in the world, but because they include a number of different variants, Ford says, "Uh uh-uh, no, Focus is. Uh, Whatever, what it proves is this is a very important car. Why so popular? Definitely reliability. I've brought in a specialist, my neighbor, Dick Ogard, a satisfied Corolla driver. I just need something to get from point A to point B. His opinion of this loaded LE premium model? I think it has a little more style than than mine. It uh, looks a little more modern, and definitely the interior, I I like that better. Does this have a a rear view camera? Uh, It's standard in all but the base model. This 1.8-liter four-cylinder makes 132 horsepower in the LE. It's matched up to a continuously variable transmission. The four-speed automatic remains in the base car. A six-speed manual is available in some models. Dick did not get to drive it. I'll guesstimate 0 to 60 happens in a leisurely 9.5 seconds. Most buyers will be more interested in the EPA fuel economy rating of 29 city, 38 highway. Driving dynamics? Well, it's not as comfortable and quiet as Chevy Cruze, not as sporty as Mazda 3. Corolla plays it right down the middle, as you'd expect. Low-beam LED headlamps are standard across the board. Order the S model with the optional alloy wheels to get a firmer suspension. S also gets a simulated 7-speed gearbox feel from the CVT tranny. It's noticeably crisper than the slightly rubber bandy dynamic of the LE. The cabin gets more style now. Material quality is mid-pack. The dashboard is mounted on the high side. I think it's more modern, more stylish. Uh, Of course, I got the leather seats, which I always have liked. Uh, Actually, they're synthetic, but nicely sculpted, bolstered, and heated. Toyota's Entune system connects your electronics. The touchscreen interface is intuitive. One reason Dick says he likes his Corolla is the fairly roomy back seat, and I would have to agree, not overly generous with the headroom, though. There are the expected places to keep things organized. But cost-cutting eliminates a second pocket, foldable armrest, and power port. It doesn't stop there either. No leather wrap here, and most Corollas have drum brakes in back. The outgoing generation Corolla swallows six packs of this stuff. Honda Civic, seven. It would appear that the new one gets a larger boot since it too swallows seven packs, but... It gets penalized because the lid can't be shut without serious scrunching. Oh, and no grab handle. Fortunately, the cargo space is flexible since there's no hatchback version. The 11th generation Corolla starts at $17,600 with a manual transmission. This loaded LE Premium retails for around $22,600. Yes, this car is improved, but it still isn't compelling. It now faces white-hot competition from many others in class that are emotional and fun to drive. Corolla remains a Corolla. Reputation is its best attribute. 